the opportunity here is that now we're showing that uh, hole 60 is uh, is more than a one hole wonder. We now have 30 holes into this uh, into this zone, and it's uh, holding up quite uh, quite robustly. So, a very high grade system, um, and not a narrow high grade system. We're getting very broad intercepts. Uh, some of our bigger holes are uh, 330 uh, meter holes and 90 percent uh, mineralized. Uh, we recently restructured the option agreement we have uh, with Kiska Metals. We now have a path to 100 percent of this project by uh, paying uh, Kiska 1.5 million dollars and issuing 7 million shares of Brixton for 100 percent. We believe this deal is uh, is a major milestone uh, for Brixton. This really allows us to execute on our business strategy, which is uh, being acquired by a mid-tier major company in the next next two or three years. Um, so that deal is set to close by the uh, by the end of February. We're sitting on about two million in cash in the till. Uh, so we ha currently have more money now. We can drill more today, uh, this year, with the money we have than we drilled all, all last season. Uh, here's where the property is located. It's in northwest BC, um, between the uh, Telsequa Chief Mine Development and the past producer, uh, Golden Bear Mine. Uh, up in northwest part of the province. We actually service from Whitehorse, Yukon. Uh, we can, you can basically go to commercial flight to Whitehorse and then you can jump on a fixed wing uh, aircraft who can have you on the property within an hour from, from Whitehorse. So even though it's in a uh, relatively remote part of the province, it's actually access is, isn't that bad and we continue to, uh, to improve on, on the access and infrastructure. Uh, quite a large property, some 26,000 hectares and we're starting to assess the run of river uh, potential for, for local power generation. It's pre-resource, so we're still in the exploration, uh, exploration stage, but here's the geological model that we're using, and it's basically a high sulfidation system. Where we're getting the joy is in this breccia zone in the central part of this uh, uh, property, and we're using uh, projects like El Indio uh, in Chile, which produced over uh, four and a half million ounces, and the uh, Lepanto in far southeast, uh, model, and you can see Lepanto is 19.8 million ounces of gold uh, with copper that puts uh, uh, the far southeast at 43 million ounces of gold equivalent. So that's the geological model. It's, it's remarkably similar uh, geologically to, uh, to Lepanto and far southeast, and we believe that there's potential uh, at depth here uh, for uh, a porphyry um, system. Uh, we're nowhere near drilling uh, those depths. Uh, today we're down to about 330 meters. We think by uh, this year we'll be testing uh, uh, deeper than 600 meters uh, with the current drills we have on site. Um, this is just a plan view of the maps, of uh, the map, that basically the zone that we've, we've drilled, showing basically to the south end of this system is wide open. Uh, it does pinch a little bit to the north here, but it remains open in about 30 meters width. And uh, we're really just getting started on this thing. We think the upside is yet to come uh, for, for Brixton shareholders. We've only had a really uh, one real good season on, on this property, so we have, we have a lot of work to do. Again, look at the grades, very, very uh, high grade, silver rich, polymetallic, and these are not one, two, three meters. We're talking 300 meters of 200 grams, 200 meters of 300 grams equivalent, 123 of over 400 grams. So these are off the charts grades. This is not a normal uh, system. This is a very unique, uh, potentially large scale, uh, high grade system. Here's what it looks like in cross-section. Uh, this is our hole 60 discovery uh, right in the center. Right here, that's hole 60, the 95 meter in intercept of 620 grams uh, silver. And then here's uh, hole 84, which we, which we drilled this season. A 337 meter hole, 90% of this hole was mineralized. So we've taken it from what we thought was about, about a 50 meter wide zone. Now it looks like we've got about 140 meter wide zone. Uh, again, we're just getting started. We think there's lots of room to grow this, uh, grow this into uh, to a resource. So we're working towards a maiden 43101. Uh, we've got some work to do uh, to get there, but uh, quite a, quite a unique and uh, exciting opportunity for for shareholders. There's some of the uh, histogram of the mineralization showing the silver, gold, uh, and the base metals, and then we basically convert those into either a gold equivalent or a silver equivalent just to, as, a, as a means of looking at one number versus a whole host of numbers. It's, it's hard for most people, even myself, to calculate all that in, in my head. But what's important to note here is the simple uh, scale of this thing uh, from surface, uh, 200 meters of high grade, which is pretty remarkable um, uh, with, within this system. Obviously, the equivalent numbers are, are, are very high as well. 
So we think we're looking at uh, about 50% of the values in silver, another 30% of the values in gold, and the base metals combined are worth about uh, 20 or 30% of the, of the overall value. So most of the value is in the silver and gold here. Uh, this table is really just to show you the numbers. And now I think the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, just key your eye into the, uh, the intervals and, and the silver numbers. Um, we're actually struggling to find uh, many, many deposits or many projects that have uh, grades of this caliber uh, anywhere in the world. So quite a unique, uh, very rich opportunity here for, uh, for Brixton. Uh, here's what it looks like. It's, a, it's defined as a breccia zone, although the fragments are quite well rounded. It's matrix supported uh, mineralization. We get up to massive sulfide, uh, galena, pyrite, tetrahedrite. Uh, that's what it looks like uh, close up. Uh, it's pretty obvious when we get the high grade. Um, well, we still need to wait for the assays. We know, uh, we know when we hit the high grade. That's, that's what it looks like. There's some of the grades there on, on, on that interval below. This is what the, uh, the site looks like. Uh, this is the airstrip we, uh, we have and we put in in, uh, 2000 and, uh, in 2011, and we've now expanded it to over seven, uh, 700 meters length. Uh, this is the O-band area where we're drilling. This uh, sky van has really uh, helped to uh, shave down our costs. Um, we're actually uh, quite impressed with the, uh, the, the success we're having uh, at the drill bit, and uh, the costs were down actually under $400 a meter on an all-in basis. Uh, which, is, which is pretty attractive, and we see opportunity to continue to drive down our operating costs. So, reasonably remote, um, we're doing actually quite well considering the, uh, the infrastructure. That'll be my presentation. Uh, we do have a booth here uh, around the 1100 uh, aisle, and I uh, welcome you to come by and uh, have a chat, and uh, I think Brixton's worth, uh, worth keeping an eye on. This is gonna be a, a major uh, a year for us, I believe. My target is really to see about 15 to 20,000 meters on this uh, on this property, and given we've only got about 5,000 meters on the zone, we think there's lots of upside here from from where we are uh, right here. And I appreciate your time, and uh, thanks for coming out.